Welcome back to the garage. Today we're on the back porch with my 1960s Lane Acclaim picture window table. Basically it's a sofa table. From a distance it looks all right. Up close we can see that there's not much finish remaining. And there's a really weird dark spot here from water most likely. Additionally, one of these very common splits has begun to appear here. It has a few stains here and there. And a couple of good sized scratches that we'll need to address. The coloration is a bit weird like it's been refinished in the past. There's also a chunk missing out of the front, like there used to be a knot or something that fell out as the wood dried and shrunk. I'm going to be focusing on the top for this one. The legs are in good enough shape, though the black on the bottom of the legs could be touched up. I'm going to focus on stripping what remains of the old finish off, treating with oxalic acid a couple of times as needed to remove the stains as best we can. Then I'll give it a good shellac finish to seal it, that way I can have latitude to do other things afterwards or strip it and start over. I'll be using citrus strip on this one. It seems to work pretty well on these tables for the most part. Then we'll move it to the shade so it'll dry slower. I've been having problems with my GoPro lately, unfortunately, and I lost a good chunk of video for this entire episode. The biggest chunk that I lost was on the cleanup process with 4.0 steel wool. Now we're letting it dry in the sun to speed up the drying process. Hopefully this blotchiness will go away. Now that it's stripped, it looks like someone has been here before me. There are some scratches against the grain that look to be from sanding. I'm going to give it the lightest of passes with 220 grit to try to clear out some of these light scratches. Time to let it dry for a while in the sun. It's not as dry as it appears. Here's oxalic acid treatment number one. It's a pretty strong solution.
Now here's a second round of oxalic acid. I don't know what to do about this light spot that appeared once all the stripping and cleaning was done. I'd rather not stain this table because I like the more original color, but that might be what it takes eventually to repair this area. I lost footage here where we were drying it out really well. I'd like to at least try to do something about this deep scratch. Now here's the old trick of trying to steam out a scratch with an iron. I use an old iron and a wet cloth to steam the deeper scratches to help reduce their impact on the table. While their visibility did not decrease much, they certainly did improve. I lost another good chunk of the footage for this one, especially the part where I filled in these, these cracks that are starting to form on the sides. Now we'll start with just a shellac ceiling type of finish for now. The first coat goes on really, really light and really thin. Then later I come back through and do a second, thicker coat. And after letting that dry for a while, a third coat with just a few touch-ups of areas that visibly look thinner. And there we have it. The shellac finish for now is extremely glossy, especially in the sun. You can see the odd light splotches. In the bottom corner, I can't quite figure out what's going on. I even reapplied stripper thinking I missed some of the finish. It looks more like something oily got into the wood that just won't come out. These pieces are always interesting to look at because from this side you see an extreme contrast between the dovetail side and the walnut veneer. But if you come around, the other side where the light hits it just right that's what they're supposed to look like you almost can't tell the transition between the dovetails and the walnut and in bright enough sun it looks almost the same here inside under much more muted light it looks fine the blotchiness is less noticeable the high gloss isn't so bad it's a good addition to my growing collection of laying acclaim pieces. And this other project that looks very difficult to do right. Thanks for watching.